Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypour Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2016 Caterpillar 259D that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions. I'll get up close to everything, show you everything that I see, tell you everything that I know, then we'll fire it up, kind of run it through its paces. Show you what little bit of play it has up in the pen, show you the hydraulics are strong, let you hear the engine. As always, if you are in the market for a used skid loader, a used piece of construction equipment, or a used piece of ag equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for equipment find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate that. All right, like I said, this one's a 2016 259D cab, heat, air, high flow, two speed, pilot controls, advanced display with the backup camera, dual bucket leveling, heated air ride seat, 2490 hours when we fire it up here in a little bit and uh get into the operational video i'll show you there's a little bit of play up here in these front pins not awful but there's definitely some play as you'll see there's some cement splattered up here in the front kind of get up close to these loader arms yellow paint's fairly bright loader arms have just typical little scratches here and there a couple up here there and there a few little spots where it's got some scratches Nothing out of the ordinary. It is a used skid loader, but arms nice and straight. Left side track is in pretty darn good shape. I'm gonna say it's probably 55, 60%. I think I'm being very fair there. It's between 50 and 60% tread life. Plenty of tread depth there. A couple little spots here and there where it's got little nicks in it. Nothing out of the ordinary for a used track machine. Sprockets are very, very good. Lots of life left there. Looking at the side rails, as you can see, it's got some paint wore off, like pretty typical for these. A lot of times dirt sits on them and then it just kind of wears off and then gets a little rust underneath there. <clears throat> on the side of the rail here, again, some paint chipped off on the corner, the edges, starting to peel away a little bit. Nothing out of the ordinary, it is an eight year old machine. Some scratches back here, again, kind of just par for the course on a used track machine, but looking at this back corner here, again, that yellow paint's fairly bright does have some scratches here and there some there down here and the paint is starting to chip off a little bit around the bottom edge pretty common on these newer machines again a little paint missing there where you tie down chain it down that light there's cracked that lens is cracked <clears throat> coming back here that back door is fairly straight does have a dent here in that black mesh, a couple little scratches down here and little scuffs. No huge dents down here though. That top shield is in good shape. I said cracked on that, should say it's busted. It's got a chunk out of it. Looks about the size of maybe a 50 cent piece or so. This side, lights are good. This corner over here, everything looks pretty good. Again, a few scratches here and there. Paint chipped off on the bottom there. Pretty typical. Looking at the track on this side. Matches up really well to the other side. Lots of life left here in this track. <clears throat> I would say this one maybe has a few less little nicks in it than the other side. Not that the other side's bad, but at least this part of the track on this side is pretty decent. I don't really see a whole lot of cracks or checking in it. Sprockets really really good on this side as well and again looking at the side rail here on the undercarriage Probably half the paint is still present <clears throat> Looking back here again on the side of the machine here on the side of the frame some of that paints chipped off down here And it's starting to flake off on the corners pretty common on these Looking at the loader arm on this side again nice and straight does have some scratches I don't see any cracks or welds or plating anywhere on the loader arms. Like I said, there's some cement splatter up here. <clears throat> it does look like the little ears busted off this uh, on this pin. They have a big ear that comes around. It's still behind the bolt and everything, but normally there's a little piece of the ear that sticks out on this side. 
looks like that's broken off looks like a fairly new light duty bucket <clears throat> no bows or any in that bucket though no big dents or dings in that we'll go back and take a look in the engine compartment <clears throat> okay as you can see here nice and dry up on top a little bit of dust up there but pretty darn dry I don't see any oil or diesel running down the side of the machine anywhere it's kind of hard to get in there any farther with this camera set up but side of the block seems like everything's nice and dry there up here Everything looks pretty good there. <clears throat> the fans on this cooler are pretty darn good. A couple, just a couple of them got a little bend in them. Back, inside of that back door is pretty straight. So everything looks pretty decent back here. We'll go take a look at the cab the operator station. <clears throat> Like I said, some cement splattered up here, as you can see. Some up here on this front. Down here on your steps and everything. That step is in pretty darn good shape though. Just a little bit of a bow in it, but you'll see a lot of those that get dented up. It does have the Lexan door. Being a high flow machine, that's kind of nice. Taking a look up here in the cab. Floor mat's in really good shape. All of this plastic here is nice. That gray is still nice and bright. Not all faded out. Looking at the heated air ride seat. I don't see any cuts or tears here in this lower cushion. A couple of little spots with some dirt. Maybe almost looks like paint back there. Take a seat down here and we'll look. The uh, left side joystick, as you can see, some of that rubber is starting to peel off up top here all the toggle buttons are in good shape that one's in good shape the rubber boot down here the protective boot down at the bottom is in decent shape come over here and take a look at this side same thing on this one some of that rubber starting to chip away all the toggle switches and buttons are all in good shape though like I said it does have advanced display backup camera 24.91 on the hours all the plastic up here all the buttons and everything all that is in really good shape not all faded out or busted up same thing over here everything looks pretty darn good there HVAC controls AC is blown cold at the time of this video I don't see any cracks down here where these or welds where these two cylinders come up here everything looks pretty good there <clears throat> Okay, like I said, it's a 2016 259D, 2,491 hours. Plenty of photos on our website, that's listed down below. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'll fire it up and get right into an operational video.